Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Terraformers rejoice. We're finally here. Let me put some tunes on. Oh, I always love a little bit of... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's rejoice. We have a new button. If you buy the DLC, you now have Elysium and Hellas. I think Hellas is a more interesting board. We'll, we'll explore both over time for sure. But Th Tharsis is the original. But Elysium is like the backside of Mars. It's the other. It's the other side. Whereas Southern Wilds is kind of like a back half. And I just think it's really cool. And I'm really excited to see what they have in it. We'll play with Prelude on. No, you know. Mm, we'll play with Prelude. Oh, sorry. I'm doing the wrong thing. We'll play with Prelude off and just experience Elysium here. Though we'll include the Prelude cards and corporations. And there we go. New content. Look at this. New contents. New rewards. New objectives. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that they teach you how to play the game because you might not know. This is a lot of science. A lot of science. Not to mention a space hotels, which we really love. But instead, let's go Saturn Systems. Um, and I want to get just energy strats going. To play this card in the first turn, I can only grab three cards. And that's a bit sad. Like, that's like a really not fun start. Um, especially because st like Standard Technology isn't a great card for winning a solo. We have 14 generations. But in case you're new here and you actually stuck through... The first like whatever 60 seconds of this video minute and a half actually and you don't know what we're doing here we have to terraform the entire planet in the board game terraforming mars alone starting with less tr so less initial points and in income than you would if you're playing a competitive game and you have 14 generations playing all alone to do all of the terraforming and you got to get it done so here we are now we're looking at saturn systems it's our company that we're going to play here we start with some money some production and titanium which we're going to use to play cards and anytime we play a saturn systems card a jovian tag we get extra income so a card like this being from thorium Masteroid, lots of income great long-term play it gives us extra income and we meet the requirement which is to have a jovian tag because we actually have it right here on our corporation so super synergistic card i want to play it in the first round it'll really get the ball rolling but there's this card here which gives us more cards as a space event there's this card here which at the end of the game if there's any standard projects that you're missing heat oceans or oxygen it's going to be cheaper so you're less at risk of losing space hotels comes with the ability to get four income but we don't have any earth tags rover construction cities well we're probably not going to play on the board if we're looking for saturn system points so i'm really close to being able to grab this just i want trans neptune probe right i also want technology demonstration and with all this energy imagine we would have what eight energy and three heat we would love it we'd, we'd blow up the heat uh the problem is that 18 dollars leaves us with 24 dollars. that's not enough i could get this in generation two you know what? Let's do that. Let's get that in Generation 2. Um, I could play some cards. I have 15 income. Basically, I need to net. By next turn, I need to net $8. Right? I have a Titanium income already. So I need to net $5. Which means that I have $15 of income. So of that 10 excess, I can play cards and still have enough. But I also might want to draft cards in the next draft. So instead of playing any of these cards, we're going to do a super slow boom. And there we go. We have even more choices. A one point animal is good. Here, I can afford to grab two cards and still play Beam from Ethorium. We really don't need these energy cards, though. We already have enough. So mining area is interesting. A one point animal is good, but let's not worry about it. Let's also look at the board. We haven't looked at the board yet um and now the resources are on the bottom somebody mentioned and yeah it is for this side so really notably one of these tiles is three plants also really notably olympus mons you get three three card draw from this we actually find this is so oh sorry my 
sound settings were a little bit off there. This is so powerful in our in our co like competitive games that we say if a player a person gets this and gets three cards, every other person in the game gets a card. A, it's more fun because more people get cards, and C or B, I think it's more balanced. Let's go ahead and get this card that we wanted here. Oh, I forgot that I had a titanium. It doesn't really change the decision making, but that's nice. Strip mine is incredible for us. That is so much production. We do not have nearly enough money for it, but we're gonna continue really slow round here. Advanced alloys, oh my lord. Even aquifer pumping and pets. All interesting. So now to play, um, to play our card, I can't grab all these cards, right? We need, we need twenty-five dollars left. That means we can only spend eight dollars, which means we only grab three cards. Aquifer pumping. We're gonna assume and pray that we get enough ocean cards without you. Heat bump, love it. So the heat bump's giving us TR strip mine. One of the things we want to do as soon as possible is get a, a card on a placement on the board. Uh, so that we can get this mining area as well. But right now we have two of each metal and advanced alloys is gonna up the value of both of those. So, really powerful. Oh, we have so much re like energy coming in as well that like this becomes, like I'm, the, the problem with this is that there's a lot of end game good cards being offered to us but it's not actually that good because it's going to slow our start down so badly like if i grabbed if i grabbed as few as two cards i could play electro catapult this turn and use it and that is super good but giving up on the large convoy just seems insane because the large convoy could be four one point animals so an ocean two points and four one point animals that's a seven point card right that's five dollars a point and it gives you two cards and all this other stuff like all these events and rebates and discounts so hard to let that card go but if we do let it go which i am we're able to play this bad boy and start selling a steal every round for seven dollars and that's like pretty darn good I want to do this to get this energy production, but we'll, let's wait till next turn once we have advanced alloys and we're gonna be in a good spot. Round six really snuck up on us, gotta say. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all of these are good. And we have a couple of science tags in hand already. So let's sell. This is a weird haze on the planet. Like the blue filter, or sorry, the green, I said blue, but the green filter really makes it like striking in a way that makes me feel weird only because it's different than what i'm used to do we have a placement on the board we do that's the natural preserve okay so trust me while we play the natural preserve and we play it for three cards because that's just so many cards whoa baby more science too then mining area we'll just grab this type or steel production that's fine and then with the steel that we picked up steel that we picked up are we playing Saletta next turn are we thinking about playing Saletta $11 we might let's get the energy production and move on one a discount card so we have one off everything and a science tag incredible incredible we don't need the physics complex. We don't have that much energy. We don't have any plant tags. I don't know how we're going to do the oxygen, but it's not going to be with plant tags. Let's sell a steel. I don't know, like, like if I were to place my um, research outpost, like, I'm not actually sure, like, where the meta location for it is. You know, you take it, you put it, and you go, huh, here? It only sacrifices one ocean adjacency, and it gives you a five adjacency location. Or do you go over here and grab the titanium, which is worth $8 worth of titanium, but then you don't have a good, uh, I can't look at my my card hand here. 
A lot of little bugs in this game when it comes to that. Easy to break the script. Let's just take the plants. All right, so now we have a dollar off of everything. You can see the nice discount animation. I do like how that's portrayed. And then boom, baby. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. This is $17. Yeah, it makes sense uh, to not worry about getting that $2 discount. Let's get seven heat production because that's just incredible. Uh, and then let's pass to next turn. Another two off of everything. Need seven science tags. We're going to have six in one second. Two cards per turn to get universal discounts on. Free card. $3 off Vertex. Did I, if you're new to the channel in any way, I love discount cards and I love card draw once you have the income. And we are absolutely getting it. Let's go ahead and sell a plant here. This is, this is just, it's really good. So we do this. We get the mass converter. We love it. We... I mean, I want anti-grab. The problem is that like... Like, I can get it. I spend it this, and then I and then I come here for it. The problem is now that it's like... I have to play optimal arrow breaking for a titanium. Or is it worth waiting till next turn? I think it's worth waiting till next turn. We're in a good spot, though. I don't know. I didn't have to rush that down as badly because I didn't actually play anything with it. We can still play this. Okay, let's... We have a lot of discounts on our cards right now. Do not, do not be worried about our effectiveness here. Let's get that microbe. Let's get, I mean, we have to start terraforming the planet. Don't get me wrong. We have a long way to go. Um, yeah, I think next is actually AI central. And that's two cards per turn cartel don't really have the earth stuff so now optimal arrow you know what just in case we get another discount card lagrange me okay we did not um optimal arrow breaking for two dollars now this card is free we have five dollars off this card and we're gonna get three heat and three dollars back because of optimal arrow breaking and there we go heat's going up it's crazy is crazy people don't know what to do about it how crazy it is let's start getting some oceans down as well i think that this ocean is is fine there's a quite the haze on the planet like i'm i'm not used to this much haziness okay this felt right but i'm actually a plant shy for everything i wanted to do um let's get satellites and like cartel is fine it's really not that good titanium mine would have been better but then i ended up playing different cards to get my heat production up lake marineris is the card that we got that is amazing that is so good for us that's gonna help us get this oil or oil requirement oxygen requirement settled here's ox gang coming to the rescue and a whole bunch of earth tags that we have discounts on to go with our multiplier let's just not do the math and quadruple down on it sell a steel look at all this heat oh my lord oh my lord okay let's play an ocean let's play a green ring Let's do a ton of heat bumps. Uh, I'm looking at you, Lunar Beam. I'm looking at you, or Processor. I'm looking at two Earth Tags. This is three income of Earth Tags. This is um, three Earth Tag income plus a Jovian income with our corporation. 
I really want this production. I don't want to wait on it again. So let's get the titanium mine and the heather. Uh, we'll do one on the heather. I could play this plantation. I can't play that plantation. Never mind. I'm insane. Uh, but we're in a good, we're in a decent spot. We have this, we have this generation and then three more after it. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. The heat's going to go up. The oxygen's going to go up. We're going to get all this stuff. Domed crater is a little bit ambitious to be honest, but I really like the idea of getting more cities like over here where there's a bunch of plants. Um... I don't even know that we need this lava flows, especially if we get space events. What is a building tag that we would like to copy? Like strip mine just for raw materials or energy? Probably the strip mine. You know what, before pressing down on anything though, let's get this development center. And that will give us a card draw then we get this card draw. Lava tube settlement. Okay. Okay. You're talking. Keep talking. Oxygen. Green thing. Cell a steel. So now, domed crater is still an ambitious play, but I like it. So that gets us another greenery into a cute spot. Lots of adjacency. I mean, sponsors is free, so like, that's fine. Lava tube settlement, though, I'm not sure. There's a couple of potentiality locations, but nothing that I'm settled on. Let's get the free heat. Oh, I meant to use my microbes there. Crap. Let's get the production. I mean, we have a lot of energy. And we can get even more, because I'm not using this titanium for any cards yet. And that's kind of the problem that we have right now, is that like we have a long way to go. But we have three whole generations. I mean, like, we've done pretty good. The whole Ox Gang showing up has done a lot. We might get a uh, research coordination payout for us on something. In case we get a TFG, Terraforming Ganymede, card that gives us TR per particular tag um well we can't get that one it's unfortunate there was a two point jovian card over here but it requires five percent or less oxygen play it at the start of the game not the end um making this placement amazing is cool lake marineris to just keep going with that this is a good city spot I'd like to think about it. I mean, we're gonna, we don't need lava flows. We have two generations of production. The only thing is that lava flows now would give me access to farming a turn early. And like, that's interesting. But like, we literally have all four bumps next turn. So it's not really worth talking about. Instead, I think that we just put this down. The heat is pretty much done. Let's do an aquifer here for a card see what that means for us kelp farming hey i don't mind if i do it's a really good card if we're thinking about putting a city here i don't mind putting a greenery there for the card adaptation technology is a point and lets us play farming early so i have no complaints about that um and all of this is just meh like i guess because we have nothing better to do with our titanium we'll start building a security spaceship fleet but all these cards in my hand could pretty well be sold other than these two because they have some upside. And we still have a whole generation after this one. Like, this is insane. Cupola City, we're past um, the playable time for it. But we just played a card earlier that gave us plus two steps to get our farming out early. But it also does minus two steps. So, just like that, Cupola City, you're in, Flynn. Get a bunch of money, get our greenery down. I mean, it's just, it's good stuff, isn't it? We get our card draw. We should have done card draw first. 
I mean, space elevator. This is what I would love to play. We keep our steel because we can sell it. We get a freaking space fleet. Um, Psychrophiles. We don't have any enhancing things, right? We do have um, birds now. And birds is that one point. I remember earlier I talked about that event. That if we played it, it gave us it would give us four animals. Well, birds is a one point animal. So we would have in fact had the birds and that would have been fantastic. Let's just run through all these clicks. I don't know. We may as well use our energy to bump the oxygen. There's no reason not to, because we don't need it to turn into heat. This gets us an extra bird. This reduces our energy production, but that's fine. Algae is good. One, two, three heat bumps right there. And we still need oceans, but I mean, if I do a greenery first, that's just feels good, you know? But I guess like there's no reason for me to rush the terraforming early in this game. I would normally do it for the meme, like just to title my YouTube video and be like, yo, finished a generation early, so good. Uh, let's flex, but like we don't have to. So the heat's gonna come up for free next turn and we could get another ocean event. So for now, let's just buy greeneries because it's like a lot of points and placements and bonuses. And last generation of the game, we've finished so far ahead of time. This is exactly the card I had in mind for the record, two oceans. There was another one that's cool too, but like that's that's exactly what we were looking for. And we'll keep drawing from the deck. Things are going well. Bushes, greenhouses, fantastic cards to end on. Uh, we'll use our energy. Though we could have gotten a, um, on a future card draw, not sure if we have one pending, we could have got some that use six energy for two points instead of just using four energy to get a little bit of money. But that's fine. I hate that this is still here. You, like, I don't think you should be able to do a heat bump if there's no heat left. People can argue with me in the comments or whatever if they think I'm the one misinterpreting how Terraforming Mars is played. But, like, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to. Let's get as much money back as possible because I don't care about metals. <clears throat> that means that we've terraformed properly. We're going to go ahead and play Methane from Titan, which is a 2 point card and it's a jovian we didn't get as far as i know any multipliers like there are multipliers in the game that gives you a point for every jovian you have we don't have that many jovians really we have more cities than anything but still would have been nice let's get our bushes down because they're very cheap give us lots of plants let's get our one point plant down none of this matters so let us sell 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 and sell we have 115 dollars to end the game wow so we're definitely buying some cities that we want to play before playing greenhouses so city one of them goes here that gives us tons of adjacency one of them goes over here it's only one additional adjacency possibility but it gave us two placements two plants on placement and finally not finally we want one here because that's a two point city already plus this greenery goes in between everybody loves getting a triple adjacency and now it's like we have these two greenery locations but we're gonna get them in the bonus phase so that makes me think this city spot is really good that's probably all the cities that we're buying so bam greenhouses that's 13 plants we'll grab these bonus plants We'll buy our greenery in the center. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, a bunch of extra adjacencies. 13 plus eight is 21. Are we going to get three plants? No. So we should just, we're not going to be at a break point for an extra two greeneries, no matter where we place them. So we'll just place them in our double adjacent city locations. 
11 dollars left a bunch of extra heat you know we can't do anything we could buy a power plant but that doesn't do anything uh 31 points on cards a decent amount of tr a win and a lot of green reason cities let me know how the gang feels about this one 72 102 133 Whew. Whew. that run is spicy spicy i'd love to say it was the map that made the difference but it's all here baby i hope you enjoyed this has been a great one and it's also your like three second warning that if you want to like and subscribe and share the video um new map new content new whatever so it, it's probably likely to get more clicks than usual i hope you enjoyed uh this has been fantastic and i'll see you in the next one ciao for now